Well, hello everyone and welcome to Coloritaville. This is Donna and today I have a Marabou art supply unboxing haul type video and I'm really excited to look at what goodies I have. Um, thank you to Marabou for sending me a little sample box to take a look at some of the products that are in the Marabou line. I am super excited to do that. So without further ado, let's jump in. Okay, so I received this box from Marabou. And so we're going to look inside. I have already um, cut this open and I added one thing that I purchased on my own, but it is from Marabou, so I dropped that in there so it would be as part of the unboxing, but everything else in here was sent to me by Marabou, and let's move this off to the side just a little, and let's jump in and take a look at what's inside. I absolutely love being able to get little sample boxes because it gives me an opportunity to try a few new things before I buy. And that is just loads of fun. So let's take this out. Oh, look at all those pretty, pretty little goodies inside. We'll look at each one of these and I'll kind of tell you what they are. Some of these things I've never tried. I don't know how many colors are available and all of that. So what I'll probably do is we'll do this little unboxing. We'll look at all the pretty goodies inside. And then over the next few days, I will film a video for each one of these products where I can kind of show you how they work and tell you what colors are available and the best places to purchase and things like that. So let's hop in and see what we have here. I'm going to move the box over to the side since you guys have got to glance inside and then we'll just pull things out and take a look. Okay, so let's see what we have here. I do believe I have a couple of these already um, that I purchased a while back at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby had them marked down. I believe it was this brand. Um, I'll have to take a look and see. So maybe I'll even have additional colors to show you guys. Let me zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see better. These are art crayons and they are water soluble. So they are similar to gelatos and you get whatever color you want, and you can do all kinds of things with these. You can put them directly on paper, smear them with um, your finger or um, like a tissue or something like that to blend them together. Um, of course, you can just straight put them down. You can also take a, a water brush and you can touch the tip and paint with them that way. They're really neat and they're very versatile. So, I've got four or five colors, it looks like, and a blender here. So that's nice. Um, I'm trying to see, does it have an actual color name on it? Yes, it does. This is Chili. So that's Chili and Kiwi and... My eyes are getting bad. I need to go see the eye doctor. Genitin, something like that. It's a blue color. And then this one is rose pink. And here is sunshine. So that's a good little color selection there. And then this is the colorless blender. And I've never used a colorless blender with these but it might even make smearing them around and working with them even easier so yeah i'll definitely look into these and see how many colors are available and i will do a video on these which will be coming up that way i can show you the different ways that i know of to work with these i'm not great with them but we'll do a video and talk about how we could use these in our coloring books that will be fun because I don't know how many colors are available and I think that would be a neat thing to find out. 
Okay, let's see. What do we have next? Okay, I have a pack of graphics and graphics is a, a marabou brand you've probably seen this if you've shopped in um, hobby lobbies or maybe even michael's um, carries a lot of the graphics pens that is a brand by marabou and let me open these up and see it looks like i have a black a green a red and a blue this is a four pack again i do not know how many different colors these come in um, you have a pen. It looks very much like a, a Sharpie. Is there a color name? I doubt it on these, but I'll look. Oh, there is. This is cherry red. So imagine that actually getting a color name on like these. That's cool. And you have your end like this. And you also have a very sharp fine liner end on the back. So that's neat too. It's like having two in one. You get your um, larger nib and then your really tiny nib and we I will definitely do another a video on these and kind of let you guys know how many colors I can find available and things like that that'd be neat yeah I like those okay so that's our graphics permanent marker and this is a four set that I was sent these are alcohol based so there's cherry red, dark ultramarine, dark green, and black in this set. It says it's high quality, vibrantly colored alcohol-based ink that is low in odor, fast drying. You have a one millimeter tip and an extra fine 0.5 tip, waterproof and smudge proof on various types of surfaces. Cool. Very, very cool. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. This is graphics brand also. This is their sketch markers. It says it is high quality, vibrantly colored alcohol-based ink, low in odor, fast drying, intensity of color depth by adding multiple layers of the color which is ideal for shading and color gradients, premium quality tips, one seven millimeter chisel tip and one fine one millimeter brush. Oh, brush. Is that a brush? That doesn't look like a brush. It looks like a regular nib, but it says brush. We'll, we'll see. Um, optimum results on special marker paper, ideal for illustration sketches, final artwork, and much more. So I've got a carbon black, a light green, primary cayenne, primary magenta, vermilion, and primary yellow. Then they do have numbers also. So let's take a look at what the actual marker itself looks like. Oh, it's got a little sticker here <laughs> to hold it in. Okay, let's pop this open. Ooh, ooh. Looky there. Pretty, pretty. I love markers. Okay, so on the ends is where we have our color numbers. On the back, yeah, that's a sticker. It has the number at the end here and then primary yellow. All right, it's marked which ends. You've got a dark black line on the fine nib and um, then your chisel and it's marked here. Let's take a look at the chisel. Oh, nice snap. I like that snap. There we go. It's actually shiny too, which probably means it's pretty juicy. And yeah, that's a regular fine nib. Yeah, that's not a brush. Okay. So that's a nice little color variety. And I will do a video on these also so we can take a look at them once I'm able to find out exactly how many colors are available and things like that. So that's a neat little thing. I'll enjoy playing with those. Yay. It's kind of like Christmas, guys. All right. Let's see. These are the Graphics Aqua Pens. See what it says back here. Brilliant watercolor felt tip pen, 
brilliant colors thanks to high quality, light, fast, and low odor water-based pigment ink, double tips, contour tip, and flexible brush tip for watercolor painting on a watercolor paper. And, you know, I showed you guys in a previous video how you can prep regular paper for this. Apply the color, then use a wet brush to spread it. Do not dip the pen in water. Okay. Awesome. So let's take a look at the pens themselves and see what they look like. Okay. Does it tell me what colors? Okay, this is called King of Bubblegum Set. So that's the name of the set, King of Bubblegum. I think they do have like different set names for different things. Okay, this shows you your fine end and your brush end. And the brush end actually does have a dark black. But I'm not seeing any color names, specific names on here. And there's not any on the box either. So these must not give us individual names. Let's take a look at the blue one. This is the fine tipped nib. And then this is the brush tip. That'll be interesting to look at. Cool. All right. And you also have little nibs, little notches on the lids to keep it from rolling around on your desk. So that's always nice. All right. So I will take a look at these and see how many colors or sets are available in these. And we'll do a video on that also. Yay. All right, now what else do we have to take a look at? She sent me some of their inks. These are their water-based inks. Get into the bag. It's in their pretty snug, pretty snug. Okay, let's see. These are called Graphics Aqua Watercolor Inks. Okay. There's an orange, yellow, blue, and green. It says Watercolor Ink. Oh, I don't know that I can read that. <laughs> I really need to go see an eye doctor. Ultra Brilliant pigment watercolor ink water-based shake vigorously before use these are made in germany okay so you shake them up vigorously is that vigorously people <laughs> i think so okay so this one is orange and it's number 13 this is sunshine yellow to 20 Dark Ultramarine 055 and Mint 153. Let's take a look in here real quick. Oh, they are very pretty. Pretty. I love colors. <laughs> I love art supplies. I love colors. All right, so I will try to find out how many different watercolor inks are available in these and let you guys know on that also. I am so not really, um, I'm not good at coloring with watercolor, but we'll put some of these down on paper in a video too, where I'll let you guys know how many colors are available and where they can be purchased and things like that. Oh, I like that color of yellow. It's very pretty, very, very pretty. Okay, take a look and see what the blue looks like. It's kind of hard. 
you guys to really see, but that is a very pretty color blue. All right, so we'll take a look at these also in an upcoming video. We'll find out how many colors of those are available. Very nice, very, very, very nice. We are getting towards the bottom of the box. <laughs> this is the last thing that they sent to me, and then I will show you the thing that I bought, which I am so into trying to figure out how to use. But they sent me these Fluid Arts brush. These are water brushes. They're, you fill them with water and use them, so that'll be really neat when I do this video. We'll use these as well as when we do use the um, art crayons, we'll use these and maybe even play around with the watercolor felt tip pens. We can use these also, so that will be fun. And let's open these up just so I can take a look at these here with you guys real quick. The back, is there English? Most of this, let me see. Do we have English as a language? I say water fillable brushes. Here we go. Water fillable brush, water fillable brush set with fine and elastic brush hairs, ideal for painting, writing, and blending on a paper and fabrics. So they're in this particular pack and we'll see if there's other packs available. I'll look that up. Um, five millimeter, four, okay, you get a five millimeter flat, you get a four millimeter round and a three millimeter round in this particular set. So that's pretty cool. And come on out of there. They've got little sticky things in the bottom to keep them in place. That's really nice. So they don't get all mixed, mushed up in there. All right. So these are the brushes. And you have the, I believe this is going to be, yeah, this is the, was it a three millimeter or a four millimeter? This is a four millimeter here. And then you have a three millimeter round here and a five millimeter flat brush. That would probably be real good for like backgrounds if you were using it for like backgrounds. And the idea behind these is you unscrew them and you fill this end with water and then you just screw that back on. And if you very softly, it says push here. If you just very softly push down on this, it sends water down into these brushes so that you can use them. So that's really neat. We'll play around with those. And they may have other size brushes available. Like I said, I will check into that and let you guys know. This video here was pretty much just the unboxing. I haven't really sat down and looked at any of this yet. I just kind of opened up the box and um, dropped what I needed to show you guys in there so I would have it on the ready and just ran with it. Okay, so this is another neat little thing that I found that is offered by Marabou and I was so, so super wanting to try this. I'm going to shake, go ahead and shake this up some. Is it something that you definitely need to shake? Okay, this is out. This is one of their alcohol inks, and they do have a line of alcohol inks also. Um, I wish I had one of their alcohol inks. All I've got is the water base, so I don't know if this is going to work with water base. But anyway, the neat thing about this is the color. Um, I don't know if you guys can make that out, but it is rainbow. And you may say, well, how in the world do you get the color rainbow? It's really neat. What this is actually meant for is to be an additive into like alcohol, their alcohol inks. And it makes their alcohol inks iridescent, um, meaning they get glittery. So, can you guys... Can you guys see that sparkle down in there? Ah, ah, excites me. 
I don't want to get too much. Let's see if I can get just a tad on my fingernail. Oh, nope, that's too much. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I shouldn't have done it that way. Okay. So look at this. Do you see that glitter? Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> look at that. That's crazy cool. And what I'm thinking about doing is, can you see it now on here since I got it on there? Oh, it's so pretty. This, I can't even tell you guys how pretty those colors are. It is so much prettier than like the Wink of Stella. Because, you know, Wink of Stella gives you a little bit of a glitter, but this gives you an iridescent rainbow. I mean, there's all kinds of colors in there, especially like blues and purples. And see, I've got it all over my fingers. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm thinking we could use this on our coloring books and just kind of brush it over a color, maybe with a water brush or just any dry brush. And we could kind of do that. It also has a, one of these type of lids for you to um, use, which I probably should have been figuring out how to use that instead of taking the lid off. I think you need to stick a needle down in there though, to get it started. But yeah, that is just so super cool. And it's by Marabou and oh, 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 so awesome. I'm really excited about trying this. Okay, so just a quick recap. We'll put all of our neat little things from Marabou out here on the desk so we can look at them all. Because, you know, art supplies are just really that pretty. <laughs> Look, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I'm really excited to be able to dig in to these um, and take a closer look at them, especially this rainbow ink. I want some more of it. I just wanted, I got the one and I probably paid more than I should have for this one single one, but I just wanted to test it before I really went all in and bought several bottles of these to be used. But I would think that you could probably refill your Wink of Stella or your Spectrum New York glitter pens and things like that with this ink. Or you could brush it on with a brush um, and things like that. So, yeah, I think that this is super duper cool. And I'm just in love with this for sure. Um, we'll look at the watercolors and all of these beautiful things in upcoming videos, guys. So thank you so much, Marabou, for sending me this goodie box. I am so excited um, to try these things out and to let my subscribers know um, how many colors and what I think of them and where to purchase and all of those really neat things. So I'm going to leave links down in the description below to Marabou so you can go and take a look at all the different things that they have available. She did send me this cute little card here that just tells you it's Marabou Creative Colors. It gives their address, MarabouCreativeUSA.com. Their um, email address is creative at Marabou.com and hashtag made with Marabou. Anything that you happen to do with Marabou that you want them to see on social media, apparently they can be found on um, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. So again, thanks so much for sending that. Links down below. Um, I'll try to link quickly to a few of these products also, but the main focus right now is just for you guys to go to Marabou's website, take a look around, see if there's anything that you can work into your daily art routine. Thanks so much. Please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to ring the bell to be updated of all my future uploads. You definitely want to subscribe and you definitely want to ring the bell because we're going to play and have some fun with these things and you don't want to miss out. Please like this video and share it out all across social media with your friends to lead them here. Leave me a comment so I know you are here. Until next time, guys, peace, love, and happy coloring. Bye, guys. Go to Marabou.